All right, guys. About to take you guys to my native land. Edfu, Egypt. Welcome to Egypt. Located on the western bank of the Nile, us. the Temple of Edfu is one of the largest and most well-preserved temples of the ancient kingdom, dating back to 237 BC. The Edfu yep. Temple is of tremendous importance. See? As you enter the temple, it's like you're going inside the book. It's literally full of texts. It's every my history. Wall, every column, every room, every chamber is filled with texts. The pharaohs that known collectively as the Edfu texts. What is very interesting is that the majority of these texts speak about the creation of the world. According to the texts, the earth was created by powerful gods who came down from the sky. And these gods first established a place known as the Island of the Egg. Man, just recently, Two gods. The egg went viral they on my Instagram. An in the middle of the eternal. So that's crazy. Certified. Creation listen, listen. Started with that island. The occupants of this so-called primordial mythical world, very strange creatures. There is, seems to be three groups of people. One called the sages, one called the builders, and the other called the Shektiu. Nobody knows who they are. These are the ones that are very mysterious because they are said to emerge from the water. Then the Egyptians believed a series of gods came and built the first temples. It says that here the first temples were, were built, the first ones ever in the world, and that these became the blueprint for every temple in Egypt. Once all the greater gods have done their job with creating the world, they would meet with their big bird and ascend to the sky. Ancient Egyptians believed with all their heart that everything listed and inscribed on this wall it's true are true true true, true. It's the walls say there's an island in the middle of nowhere where gods would go and ascend to the sky then ancient egyptians the devoted ones would believe that island exists according to the edfu texts not all of the occupants left and after many generations, the island suffered a terrible fate. The texts are very different as to what happens to the occupants. These strange right. gods, they seem to, once they have set the scene, once they have built the temples, they hand over their work to the historical lineage, and then they depart. We don't know where they go. There seems to be something very interesting here. There seems to be a war going on. The armies of these divinities is led by this falcon god, and he battles a kind of enemy represented by a snake. In the skies appeared what was known as the enemy snake. It had a name, it was called the Great Leaping One. And it was said that immediately it appeared, there was a time of darkness, and then something floods that destroyed this sacred island. And when the waters receded, these original beings, who are known as the ancient ones or the elder ones, were now no longer there. Perhaps the great leaping one, this enemy snake, was the memory of the comet that entered into <coughs> our inner solar system, broke up, causing devastation and destruction. Might the account of this ancient catastrophe, inscribed on the walls of the Edfu Temple, be describing a natural event? Or was it a deliberate attack? An attack targeting an otherworldly civilization existing on what we now know as the Antarctic continent. Get your alien knowledge, guys.